What's happening everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Adam, this is Van City Audi and in today's video I'm going to be going over all the reasons why I went with integrated engineering for the software on my B9S4. The car is still not tuned, I'm going to be saving that for the next video when I hit the dyno and I tune the car on the dyno so you can see the results that my car makes stock, then stage 191 and then stage 193. We're going to be keeping it pump gas for now. But in the meantime and in this video I'm gonna be highlighting all the things that really affected my decision and why I chose to use integrated engineering in my B9 S4. Can you believe it guys three months I've driven this car stock three freaking months that's way too long this thing should have been tuned the second week I owned it but sadly if you pay attention to the previous video I explained why the massive delays we had with my brakes but now that's done I feel like all the cosmetic mods are done except painting that ugly crash bar. We didn't have paint when we did that, so we're going to do that next. And then I'll be happy with the cosmetic appearance of the car and its power, power, power from here on out. So for those that are longtime subscribers and followed me through my B8S4 journey, you will have heard a lot of the things that I'm about to say, so I give you my blessing. You don't have to watch this video. You can move on. <laughs> A lot of it's going to sound the same, but with a little more uh, in-depth look at what happened with the B8S4. So way back when, when I got my RS3 in 2018, I decided to run Integrated Engineering's air intake system. It is a thing of beauty and still to this day, one of the very best air intake systems on the market for an RS3. Was really impressed with the build quality of it, and that just kind of showed me what Integrated Engineering's hardware was capable of. Past that, I ended up meeting the team, a bunch of the guys from Integrated Engineering, when I went to Pacific Waterland. It is a car show down in Portland, Oregon, not Portland, uh, Woodburn, Oregon. And I took my RS3 down there and competed in like basically a car show and you get to drag race your car as well. It was a bunch of fun. The quickest and fastest uh, show car wins an award and that was my RS3 back then. So that was a lot of fun. And during that time there, I got to meet the IE time, a team bunch of cool guys uh, we had some good discussions and I hope the IE guys forgive me for saying this but they were freaking nerds they were all nerds just like me I am a nerd at heart a car nerd love studying the numbers love doing little modifications to make my car as fast and as quick as I possibly can so if you guys take offense to that the gentleman that I met from IE down at Waterlands Pacific Waterland I am sorry forgive me please but admit it, you're all a bunch of freaking nerds and I love you for it. So got to know them then and then I made the decision to go with integrated engineering for my B8S4. That was a riot. That was a lot of fun. Um, I met some really good guys through WhatsApp, through Messenger. Um, I had to get on the phone a few times. Um, it was a lot of fun and a very cool journey because ultimately I felt like they cared about my progress and about how I was as a customer experience um, as they were about making those tunes and getting me to go as quick and as fast as I could. When I had issues, the customer service was fantastic. I never had issues getting through to them. Yes, sometimes there were some delays here and there of a day or two when they were busy, but that's all that's part of the game. Not everyone's at your beck and call to solve your problem. So it was great in terms of customer service. Um, I got along with them really well. Like I said, I'm a geek, I'm a nerd, and they kind of, we got along on that level. So that was a lot of fun. Uh, their hardware that I used and their software that I used all performed extremely well, except for one part that I installed on the B8 where it didn't quite live up to my expectations, which I was honest about, put it on the channel, put it on the dyno, didn't make a huge difference in complete defense of that. I didn't give it the best opportunity to succeed. I was not running a ported blower back then, and that's what you need to really, really get the most of a throttle body, but whatever, such is life. Um, so besides that, everything else worked well. All the tunes that I used, I even worked with them to make a tune. How freaking cool is that? I showed them my interest, I showed how dedicated I was to making my car as quick and as fast as I could, and I had it on the dyno and we created a single pulley E30 tune for the masses. That was awesome, my car was the guinea pig. 
we ramped it up there's a video on the channel if you haven't checked it out i'll put the link in the description below you could check that out it was a lot of fun with ie went back and forth back and forth back and forth until we got to a safe spot for everyone's car we didn't ramp it to an insane level and make it unrealistic where people were going to damage things we pulled it back at the end of the day so everyone was able to use that tune make a lot of power and have a fun and a fast vehicle so we made tunes together, uh, they provided great support, the hardware worked well, everything was fantastic. And in the end, I ended up making a 10 second daily driver, which was what my ultimate goal was with that B8S4. I wanted a daily driven car. Yes, we stripped out the interior to get there, no doubt about it, but I still use the car every single day. It was still very usable. It wasn't like it was crazy shifting and hard to drive, it still worked. It worked extremely well as long as my dumbass self had the supporting hardware to make sure it ran well. The very end of the season when I had the opportunity to go my fastest ever, I was running a lightweight battery that the car was not agreeing with. And that was the reason why I had breakup and why my car wasn't working. Had nothing to do with integrated engineering, but they were there. They were ready. I was letting them know what was happening. They were trying to help me figure it out. Like they were awesome. I cannot speak highly enough about their customer service and their performance. It worked. <laughs> you see a lot of competitors out there that'll literally do anything to win and anything to cut down other people and bring them down. And just, they, they're not about that. They're about seeing everyone succeed, and if you choose to use integrated engineering, obviously they're, obviously they're gonna love you for it, but if you choose to go with one of their competitors, they're not gonna start shitting on you and tearing you down. That was something that I really enjoyed about them, is the fact that they were supportive of the entire community. They weren't up to shady business tactics or things that like, paying people to put out reviews and shit that I've heard about. It just, they're not about that. They're about putting out quality hardware, quality software, and hoping that their customers have the most enjoyable experience that they can with their vehicle. And I sure as shit did. I had a lot of fun in that V8. It's moved on to new hands, and I hope that uh, new uh, owner has a wonderful time with it. But now I have this bad boy, and I'm looking to make some more power. Uh, I checked out the competition. There are quite a few manufacturers out there that are making software for this car, but I just, I had such a great time with them that I'm gonna trust my B9 in their hands. I'm gonna start out simple with the stage one pump gas tunes. I'm not gonna go crazy. We wanna see what the car can do with the most basic of setups, and that is I've changed the wheels, tires, and brakes, and that's it. So everything else is stock, all stock hardware. And we're gonna get it on the dyno, we're gonna see how much power we can make. Then past that, I'm gonna take it on the streets of Mexico, and we're gonna see how quick and how fast we can go on the quarter mile using Draggy. Past that, the track out here, the Titanium Strip at Mission Raceway Park is gonna be opening shortly, and I'll be able to get it on the quarter mile drag strip. So I'm gonna be able to get everything for you guys, just how well or sadly how poorly it might perform. I don't know. <laughs> Taking a chance here. Um, I see, like I just mentioned, there's a lot of competition out there. People throwing numbers out there, but they just accomplished this. I mean, you guys know this or not, but they have the world's quickest and fastest B9S4 right now in the quarter mile. According to what I know, they ran a 9.80 at 140 freaking miles an hour in their B9S4. That is tremendous. Their 60 foot was a 144. I don't know how that happens. My RS3, which has way more power than their B9S4 does, it gets 138, 139 60 foots. And some of those times are the best in the world in RS3 users. Even with the guys making over a thousand horsepower, they're not accomplishing those 60 foots for the most part. Yet IE did it in their B9S4, they ran a 144, which is tremendous, in a 4,000 pound boat. Yes, they stripped some weight, so it's probably closer to like 36, 3700, like everyone's doing, and like I will eventually do. But still, super impressive. We're a few years in now, they've put out a tune that was with a TTE 710 hybrid turbo. I use TTE turbos in my RS3 and they've worked well for me so I could see why they went with that choice. 
The car is performing extremely well for them. They've showcased it to all of us. They're not up to any funny business. Like I read the post, I actually joked with them because they were so thorough on everything that was done to the car, I couldn't believe it. Like they released everything they did, where a lot of times you see competition, we set this record, and they make these BS claims. Like they're not really revealing the full story. It drives me nuts because I'm super transparent with everything I do. And I really wish more people were like that because there's a ton of people out there like you guys that are paying for this stuff, your software, your hardware. Some people make less money than others. And you want to make sure you were getting every single penny's worth of your software and your hardware. And if people are putting out their unrealistic expectations and unrealistic goals, they're going to be pissed off. And I have not seen Integrated do that. It's a massive, just a great thing about them. They put out there what they've accomplished. They stand behind their products and they show to the world what they did. They laid it out there. So hopefully someone else can do that. Maybe I'll be able to do that. Will I be pushing that this car that far? I don't know. But very tremendous results. World's quickest and world's fastest B9S4, according to what I know in the quarter mile. So yeah, I hope that gives you kind of a nice round picture of why I've chosen to go with integrated engineering, the B8 story, the times with my RS3, the relationship that I formed with them, the customer service, the performance that they're getting right now, all all put together in a nice little bow like i'm really freaking stoked for this car the potential i think that lies within the b9 s4 family is tremendous and i can't wait to get it started guys so stay tuned next video i promise you i'll be going integrated engineering stage one 91 and then stage one 93 out at racing greed and we're gonna see just how much power this car makes on integrated engineering software thank you so much for watching everybody and until next time take care